Hello everybody, it's Isaac Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time, Max is now president, and uh, Abe Lincoln's destroying the world, and we must destroy him. Uh, anyway, uh, the soda poppers are here. Uh, hey, piss off. Dry, whiz man. God, I never click on Wizard, and yet Sam decides, decides to talk to Wizard anyway. Uh, I would rather talk hey, to specs and papers. Max, you remember... <clears throat> Most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Spex, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. All right. Uh, what have uh, Spex been up what to? What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wither. I was the first one of us to run for office. Heh, <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. Leader Specs. Alrighty, uh... So, if you look over here, there's a calendar, and... Funnily enough, it's the official uh, United the day States I'm, calendar. The day I'm recording well, this, well... Supreme Court it was, well, it was originally... Swimsuits. Even better, oh, Max. Uh, you can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! Uh, yeah, so, so, I was, a, wait a minute, okay, uh, yeah, so, I'll, so, as of right now, it is 12.42 a.m., uh, April 3rd, uh, so, yeah, so, I'm actually recording this in April, that was, this was not planned, this just happened by, uh, by coincidence, uh, with the sticky note, we can change it to any of these, uh, specific dates, uh, or, now I now I don't think changing it to to Passover Earth Day or Arbor Day does anything. Uh, if I remember correctly, Secretary's Day might be story important. Uh, however, we're going to change it to Easter. We now declare today April eighth, Easter Sunday. Cripes, we'd better start hiding eggs on the White House lawn. Already did it, Sam. Max, are these the eggs that are made of metal and shaped like a pineapple and have a pin in them? Don't be silly, Sam. I took the pins out first. Great. Uh, Max put grenades all over uh, the White House lawn. Let's let's get out of here before our ship blows up. Although although we'll leave the soda poppers in there. Uh, yeah, they 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 could, they'll do fine on their own. They 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 run at the speed of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh right, yeah, I forgot. I forgot you can run. Uh, let's check this hole. Hey, an Easter egg. You mean a carefully hidden item of absolutely no actual value? Exactly. Uh, and just like that, that's how you get the achievement. Uh, now as for this Easter egg... I don't know, I don't think you can even use it or anything. I'm just gonna... The Easter egg is a completely unusable thingamabob. Yep, so we have that in our, in our inventory now. Just takes up an inventory slot in our infinite inventory. Uh, I think we should probably head back to town. Because if memory serves me correctly... Where are we going, Sam? I believe Lincoln, uh... Back to the office. I believe. Shotgun. I believe Lincoln. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, dumped. Uh, Sybil. So maybe, maybe we should be good friends and. Uh, maybe we should be good friends and. Uh, well, comfort her. You know, uh, just talk to her about everything. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Uh, you're having financial, you're having problems? financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. 
Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. So, how does carbon dating work? How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. Oh I'm boy. impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's... It's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Ooh. Can we can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way. That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Well, luckily for us, we have the president, so we can do that. So let's uh let's get out of here. Oh they I think I don't think that changed too much, but uh yeah, let's let's just head back to the White House. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy. Oh I was I oh I just realized there's a... Uh, Oh wow! It just automatically puts this into White House. Okay, uh, national oh, national budget. I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. Uh, time for the national budget. Hey, look! What a delightfully <laughs> random and convenient figure. All right, so we can put money into Independence Hall, the Alamo, Statue of Liberty, or Civil Pandemics Office. Uh, we should probably just leave it on Sybils. And then let's just exit. And I believe we still have to go through the lawn. Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, let's get a good look at the car. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the car. Yeah, the the, the DeSoto got updated. It has. It now has like the the uh, the, uh, the the present the presidential seal Where and going, uh, Sam? and two flags on the front. Back to the office. Shotgun. Man, how time flies. Or maybe, maybe they did that while the... Maybe they did that while I wasn't recording. You never know. Love is for... Oh, wait. Love is for suckers. Abe, Abe like... Well, someone's right about that. Love and... It, 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 re it really depends. Hmm. Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. Eh, jealousy's a bitch, am I right? Well, we can take her gun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Yep, she now has money now, so, uh... Now, what? Now, this... Now, we, this item is actually important, because... If you remember, uh... Uh, let's go back to Bosco's Inconvenience. And, and, and let's just ignore, uh... Hugh Bliss. Oh, Mr. President! Do not execute me. Uh, what happens if I... Uh, let's look at this camera. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Uh, yep. Alright, nothing happens. Uh, that, that'll be important later. I just wanted to see if I can do some, uh, speedrunning shenanigans. If it was possible, but, uh, let's scan the hot weenies. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, of course. I'm preserving heritage of my people. 
Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Yep. Uh, now that we now that we have done that, Bosco's Inconvenience is now considered a historical place, which means, which, which means uh, you guess you guess right. We can give him uh, we can give him money. Also, oh I can't. Oh, that sign had something funny on it, and I wanted to read it. Oh well. Back to, back to the DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. Oh, hold up. Where are we going, Sam? We're off. Oh. There we go. Let's just skip that dialogue. Uh, this time, this time I want to make sure not to skip the dialogue this time. Oh, oh man, really? I don't show the dialogue this time. Ah, well. Well, apologize that I accidentally skipped dialogue there. Hello, comrade Bosco. Oh, Hail hey, to there the we go. I don't know how you guys did it. But I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the labs. And this is a bottle of vodka. And yep, bottle of vodka. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Well, uh, you know what? He is not wrong. He is not wrong, in fact. Uh, let's you know, let's just for shits and giggles. Let's look at. Let's go back to Sybil's and see if she returned from her vacation. No, she's still gone. Alrighty then. Eh, yeah, just eh, they just did it out of curiosity's sake, you know. Where are we? Uh, to the White We're House. Off to the White House. Uh, now, now, in order, now, I, I have a feeling that in order to destroy Lincoln, we might have to get access to the. Uh, to the White House's uh, missiles. However, that's behind the war room. Uh, luckily for us, we have these three. Uh, we have the soda poppers here. Uh, now, who's the one who will drink something like this? Wizard. Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? Oh, man. Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Zappa Max. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the Stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war! Oh, boy. War! Whoa! Oh, that's new. I didn't. I didn't realize they added that to the. Uh, I didn't realize they added that to the uh, rem uh, remaster. Also, the war room's open now. Also, musical number time. This I what wondrous thing is this? The Defcon collections ring. I'm gonna try and stay quiet for most of this. I, 
Okay, I would like to mention <laughs> for a song about war doesn't have to be this catchy. Like, come on. <laughs> oh my god. This is easily the best chapter in Sam Max Save the World just because it's, it's all be it's all strengthened by the fact of, of this musical number. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, what is it good for? What is it good it's good for you. It's good for me. Oh, what is it good for? Oh man. Well, let's not do that again. <laughs> oh my god, that's easily the best part of Sam of this game. Just the fucking war song. Alrighty. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Yep. And, uh, you, you know, ah, oh, man. You know, okay, you know what, I'm gonna, before I move on, I, I hope, I hope this video doesn't get, cop uh, get a copyright claim, because, uh, because uh, as of the date of recording, which was, this is the midnight after the upload of the first Pizza Tower Let's Play. Or the first the first episode of my Pizza Tower Let's Play. Uh, apparently, the, my final episode of my Hand in Time Let's Play got copyright claimed by some known, uh, by some known copyright uh, troll slash scammer. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so... I, I I haven't bothered disputing it because honestly I'm not I'm still not sure if I'm even gonna be I'm not sure if I'm planning on monetizing my channel at all. I should probably dispute the claim, but but yeah yeah if I if I have to if I have to contact uh, gears for if I have to contact gears for breakfast and uh, what's his name the composer for the uh, for the game I will actually fucking do that because people like this I just want to just grab and strangle. Because of, because of how much they pissed me off. Alright, uh, let's use the ribbon on, uh, on, uh, Super Bowl here. Who has a really good singing voice, by the way? Max, right? I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Super Bowl, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country. For your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be. For your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Super Bowl. Uh, let's see. Secretary of Meat and Cheese. Se Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Missions. Secret Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Uh, meats and cheese. Secretary of Meats and Cheeses. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. All right. Well, luckily for us. Oh, boy. We can change the date to Secretary's Day, eh? We now declare today, April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for Vice President, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. Pull. All right, then. Secretary's Day. 
Oh, oh. When, when did they add that to the, uh, to the game? Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. There we go. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. <laughs> look, look at Super Bowl. He's he's so fucking happy. Like, like I said, he's. I mentioned he's one of my favorite uh, side Sandmax characters who didn't even appear in the comics. But yeah, but yeah, Super Bowl is such. He he is uh, like. Do I want to call him a Chad? Where are we going, Sam? Wait, wait, wait! I can just do that. Seriously? No place. Never mind. I did not know that, actually. Periscope this situation. Look, Max, in the White House garden pond. It's Jimmy Two Teeth. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. Huh? Uh, the Dakota situation. The civil war in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Let them thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. Uh, what? Is, we'll say the same thing over here. Whee! It looks like Bismarck has fallen to the West Dakotan militia. Oh no! That will wipe out the country's crucial snow and slush reserves. Your compassion for your people is heartwarming, Mr. President. Alrighty. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Let's see. Targeting computers. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful. So serene. Antarctica! Hold up? You have to ask? Fuck you, Antarctica! Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Aww. Oh, now you! Oh, now I'm regretting this. I love penguins. The Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. Let's There's fire no it anyway. For the missile to lock onto. Damn it! We'll just have to do this the slow way. Lock and load, Sam! We're off to Red Square! Some other time, little buddy. Krypton! It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! Fuck you, Superman! This'll teach him to put me in the Phantom Zone. You will bow down before me! Damn! Aw. Better pull up a chair, little buddy. We've already got a missile on the way there. Damn it. Bosco. Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's fire missile Attention, anyway. Attention, Bosco shoppers. Clean up in aisle everything. Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? And then it loops back to Antarctica. Well, that well, we now know there's a. Uh, well, we now know there's a uh, a beacon in in Bosco, so that might actually be useful. They were trying to destroy a Blaken. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. That made things, that made things a lot more easier. Uh, honestly, honestly, I'm not sure if that right there was even in the, in the original version. 
And from from the angle of the camera, it has to be this one right here. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Well, how about we, how about we pay uh, Lincoln a, a, uh, a visit? Where we go? After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes. Alrighty, let's let's do this, Abraham Lincoln. You're on the shit list. Yeah, with uh, chuckle. Well, well, he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre conventions, Sam. All right, let's let's try the megaphone. Can smash. He's a testy little emancipator, isn't he? Anything else? Lincoln, you sit down and behave yourself right this minute. I will destroy you. Yeah, well, let's keep talking to him. Calm down and maybe we can find you a good cabinet position. Unacceptable! Just as well, Max. It would cost a fortune to feed that guy. Mr. Lincoln, pacify your soul for the magic of truth mythology. <laughs> Well, you found the one thing he and I agree on. Wow. Okay, Sam. Have you Abe. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's, I know this is not going to work, but let's try to shoot chuckles. The bullets have no effect. He's uh, made of marble, Max, and fueled by rage. Well, I want to try to see if I can take chuckles. It's Lincoln we need to stop at this point. Okay, we can't shoot chuckles already, then. Well, then... Nice toss, Max. We better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. Where are we going, Sam? All right, and back to the, off to the White House. Oh boy! And to the war room. These must nice screensaver. Oops. Let's use the president's computer. That's where all the good stuff is. Oh, I get—I accidentally skipped dialogue again because I was holding uh, uh, right mouse. What to do in time of war? Select target, press fire. That's all it says. Huh. Alrighty. All right. So, looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, you'll have enslaved all of D.C. and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. I right. haven't got anything better to do. Fuck you, Lincoln. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. My bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created. And we destroyed him just like that. Whee! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days. We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best. Well, it looks like the country is saved, at least from mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 Well, 
That seems like a problem for another episode. Because speaking of... Oh, it's playing the war song. Nice. Uh, anyway. Anyway, that is it for today's, uh, today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing as, as I'll really appreciate it. Uh, with that being, uh, I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where, uh, well, we're going to be doing episode five of the game, obviously. So, uh, yeah, until then, uh, later. Bye-bye.